Welcome to Disney Discussions. To all who come to this happy place, welcome. I'm Captain Jack Sparrow. Hi, I'm Sparrow. I am 12 years old, and my favorite part about doing this podcast was the interviews. There's a great, big, beautiful tomorrow. Ohana means family. I am Stitch. I'm 10 years old, and my favorite part about doing the podcast was being guest on other podcasts. It's super color, fragilistic, expialidocious. I only hope that we never lose sight of one thing that was all started by a mouse. Actually, technically, all started with a rabbit. We don't start to socialize. And I'm Tony, their Disney dad. And my favorite part about this podcast was spending time with my boys. Moving right along in search. <laughs> Aloha. Welcome to episode 71 of Disney Discussions. Disney 71. Discussions is the family-friendly podcast for me, Tony the Disney Dad, and my two boys, Barrow, Stu, discuss all things Disney. This week we discuss the future of our podcast. Welcome. Dun, dun, so, dun. Uh, I just want to say something. Disclaimer, this episode is emotional. All right, so you didn't miss any episodes. I decided to include all the bonus episodes we did, so that's why we jumped some numbers. So we have done a total of 71 episodes, including our bonus. Um, So I guess we'll just jump right into it. If you haven't seen on our social media, this is the last episode of Disney Discussions. But do not unfollow or Twitter. Okay? Yes. Because I want to do something. <laughs> well, continue to follow us on social media. We'll be around. The podcast will be ending. And we may do um, another episode for our October trip if that happens. It's still a little bit up in the air with everything that's going on with Disney. And we're not going to discuss all that stuff. We're really going to focus on our podcast, yeah. what we've done, and how grateful we are for doing the podcast. Do you guys want to say why we have to stop doing the podcast? I will. You can. Since it- I will, because I've been wanting to say this for a long time. Tony, the Disney dad, got a job at the Disney streaming service. And that's right. So I will actually be a cast member yeah. working for Disney streaming service in New York City. They are in charge of uh, Disney Plus, obviously, and ESPN Plus and some other things. So me working for Disney, um, I can't really do a podcast about Disney anymore. Um, but we love doing the podcast. When when I uh, let people know on social media that we were ending, we got a lot of great, great messages um, from everybody, and we got some recordings from other people. So we'll be going into those. Actually, you, you want to go into one right now? Yeah, let's do it. So let's do it from our friends. Let's do it. <laughs> so let's do it. Uh, we'll play something from our friend, uh, personal friend, but also one of our biggest fans. Yes. Hello, Disney Discussions. This is your partner, Woody. Throughout your podcast, multi-year run, I've listened excitedly through every episode and waited for more. Sparrow and Stitch have always been hilarious. Disney's history, extremely interesting. And your stories, even more so. And while I'll miss your podcast to infinity and beyond, I'll never forget the feeling of childlike wonder that comes with listening to your amazing podcast. And until I listen to your magical tales again, I'll whistle while I work, wish upon stars, and stay one jump ahead. Aloha! There were a lot of good references yes. in that one clip. I agree. I enjoyed I that. I get that reference. <laughs> I get that reference. I get that reference. So thank you. We know who you are. Yes. We appreciate all the support you've given that us. very last reference was obviously my favorite reference. The Aloha reference? Him saying Aloha or what? No, the one before that. What was it? The what? Aladdin one. Oh, the Aladdin gotcha, one. Yeah. As you guys should know, I love Aladdin. Yes. So it's for a good reason we're ending the podcast, but we are sad to do it. We've had a lot of great times. We started sad. August 28th, 2017 was our first episode, so we made it almost three years. Oh, I'm not going to be 13 when we end the no. podcast. No. Uh, I think the biggest change to our podcast has been uh, Sparrow's voice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you go back and listen to that, it's very it's like, high and squeaky, <laughs> and now it's very deep and manly. This is Mike making that voice, <laughs> and this is what it sounded like. <laughs> almost. We started off, we just, I've been thinking about it for a couple of weeks, and I just like, I think we were in the dining room and we used like yeah, you your can. laptop mm-hmm. with no equipment at all. And just came down and to the basement. Yeah. You're like, we're doing a podcast. Think of a name. Yeah. And who came up with Disney discussions? Do you, you. remember? Was it me? All right. You. Yeah. Well, I saw the domain was available. I'm like, oh, that's perfect. I, cu- I couldn't think of a, a name for my character. So I, my. What do you mean? Your real name isn't Stitch? Oh. Oh. Well, I'm shocked. That's shocking to me. So what is, um. 
some of your favorite memories or favorite things about doing this podcast over the course of almost three years? Um, when we first started, I just remembered, I thought in my head, it's like, it's a podcast and nobody saw, sees me. So through the podcast, I just kept on making really weird faces. Yeah. Yes, trying to make me laugh or break while we're recording. Yeah. Oh, yeah, my favorite part, my, this is probably my favorite part of every time we record. I always mimic you. Yes. Every time. Yes, and so it throws me off almost Wait, every time. So my, second, much fun. my second favorite part. Donald the chicken. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, no, that was recent and pretty funny. Yes. Um, and yeah, chicken, it, guy, and it, chicken guy. Chicken, chicken guy. guy. That was funny. Chicken too. guy. And yeah, it, it's very sad to end, especially since, um, <laughs> honestly, we've been doing very well lately. We've gotten yeah. a lot of downloads, more than uh, I expected, and we've gotten a lot oh. of great reviews. We've got a lot of great reviews, and our most popular episode is the a recent one um, about the Disney attraction songs, our favorite Disney attraction songs. Oh, yeah, that was fun. This is gonna. Be, I feel like this is gonna be our next mar- most popular. Maybe, maybe, maybe. It's what are some one. of your favorite episodes? Interviewing Royden, I love that. Royden, I love. Yeah, that, that was early on. It was so much fun. Yeah, I really like that, especially since great. I love the Rust books. Yeah, definitely check out the Rust graphic novels by Royden Lepp. Yep. They're on Amazon. I'm sure we have links. But I, that was a great, great two episodes we did. I really like the Keep It, Change It, or Throw It Away. Yeah, the recent ones? Yes. Yeah, those have been fun to do. Recent ones. Yeah, those are fun to do. I want to do a quick plug here. Buy your merch, please, before <laughs> before we stop the podcast. Yeah. Our merch just, is still available, it. and we'll keep our podcast up. I'm not going to take it Twitter. down. So and if you find Twitter. our Twitter is still there, Disney underscore discuss. Uh, Please follow made, Instagram. Yeah. One of my favorite things about doing the podcast um, is the community that's out there. And yeah. we got to meet a lot of different podcasters, mm-hmm. uh, other Disney podcasters. Uh, one of those being Cassie from uh, Disflix and Tidbits, who's on hiatus at the moment. But she wrote something. I'll read that right now. She said, Tony Stitch and Sparrow, I may have been on a hiatus from Disney podcasting for a while, but I have still continued to support my Disney podcasting family. I consider Disney discussions to be a part of that family. Tony Stitch and Sparrow have had such a great family podcast with the most interesting and entertaining Disney episodes. It was always so heartwarming hearing from these three and occasionally the Disney mom each time I listened to these episodes with all the excitement and love for all things Disney. I enjoyed being a part of your big Star Wars episode. It was beyond epic and got me excited for Galaxy's Edge right before our trip. I wish we could have worked out our schedule to talk movies together on my show. We, as a community, will be missing a huge chunk of us when Disney discussions end. But knowing the discussions family will still be spreading the Disney love and more discussions in a different way is awe-inspiring. Thank you for all the discussions you have shared with us. And good luck with your new job, Tony. Cassie. The hiatus host from Dislix and Tidbits. So beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, Cassie, for writing that. You've done some cool stuff for us. Yeah. You mentioned the Star Wars episode, which is one of my favorites. We actually split it into three episodes. All the episodes we did where we um, had other podcasters contribute was always really cool to do. Yeah. Like that that music yeah. episode I mentioned, the Star Wars one, yeah. and then the Tower of Terror, which was our first episode to do that. That was fun. So, And all the podcasts I mentioned or that wrote out to us... Um, I'm going to list them all out. You should all follow them or listen to them. If you're missing our podcast and not listening to one of these, you need to. So check out, even though it's on hiatus, Disflix and Tidbits, it's a great show. Another plug. Yeah. Listen to Unlocking the Magic, please. They're really good. Yeah. Unlocking yeah. the Magic is a great podcast. Disney, Disney DNA. Podcast. We've never had the Disney the DNA. Chance. Disney DNA have been great friends. We've been on their show. Um, we've it's had them on ours. on ours. Well, we've had them do, they were yeah. part of our, um, the Tower Terror episode and, and other, even the Star Wars one too. So, yeah. yep. Absolutely. I don't think most of you knew this, but for a while, our most listened to was the Hollywood Tower Hotel video um, uh, podcast. Yeah. yeah. Still I is did one not of our like top. that. I did not like <laughs> it that. It still is one of our top downloads. Absolutely. I remember when the, what, the second download was Stitch Takes Over. The second most download, yep. Yeah. Stitch Takes Over. Mine part never one. made the top five. And it shouldn't have. No, it that shouldn't. wasn't a great episode. Oh. No. Um, Maybe don't listen to it, please. You and your friend didn't really plan out. No. It turned uh, into a Harry it, Potter please. <laughs> A little bit, a little bit. Don't, don't listen to it. So what else have you enjoyed about doing the podcast? Uh, Do you have a favorite episode? A lot of people saying that their favorite character was me. Yeah. Hey, that, that's rude. But they did. They yeah. did. That's true. Speak everybody like me. Oh, the fuck. I, I was hoping we'd do one episode no. without you coming in. It's the last one. We got to do it with me. Oh, so you've heard where we're ending. Yeah. Yeah. Does that mean you're you're no longer going to live in our attic? Of course I'm going to. Oh. What are you going to be doing? Uh, 
helping you work. Help, uh, helping me work? At- I got hired for Disney Streaming. Oh. I'm your boss. Oh. Well, maybe I won't take this job then. No, 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 no. I'm a good boss. Are you? I'm a fun boss. Are you? Yeah. Like, what do you do that's fun? Uh, get you Chick-fil-A. All right. That's, that's pretty good. I like Chick-fil-A. Uh, what else? I'll give you a lightsaber for free. A lightsaber or yes, saver? A saver. I, I have a couple lightsabers. What? No, but like... A real a one? A buildable one. Like a real lightsaber? This, yeah. Oh. All right. We'll talk. Okay. Can we, can we get Sparrow back in here? Yeah, I might be back later, though. Wait. All right. We'll see. Later. Uh, and I better be everybody's favorite. I don't, you don't get I, lightsabers. I don't know if you're anybody's favorite, to be honest. You don't. You won't get lightsabers. All right. I know Stan Lee, by the way. I already knew him. Yeah. He was my brother. You're Stan Lee's brother? <gasps> yep. Interesting. No way. He never knew my name. That's, he never knew your name? <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> no, your bro- your- you guys don't know my name. No. I might reveal it later. Okay. Oh. oh. You just have to think of what it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Maybe get, I'll call Stan up. Maybe he knows. <laughs> um, that's going to be an awkward conversation. Yep, very. Stan's not around anymore. Rest in peace. All right. <laughs> can we get Sparrow back in here, please? I'm back. I'd rather. Okay. So uh, speaking of Stitch being people's favorites, uh, mm. Tom and Michelle from the Hyperion Adventures podcast... Mm-hmm have mentioned many times that Michelle and you stitch have the same opinions yes. and they were kind enough to, uh, they were kind enough to record something for us. So let's hear what they had to say. Well, Hey there, Disney discussions podcast, Tom and Michelle from the Hyperion adventures podcast. We just wanted to stop by and tell you all Tony, the Disney dad, Sparrow stitch, how much we loved your show, right. how much we feel really special that you invited us to be a part of your show right. and how much we enjoyed having you on our show. And we are terribly sad that you're going to be going away, that we're not going to have more episodes coming with you, but we know you have such great things coming for you in the future. And we are very, very excited about all of that. Yes. Uh, the podcast world is truly going to miss your shows. Your episodes are always very entertaining, warm, family oriented. It always brought joy to us to hear it. And um, as podcasters, we know what fun that is. And we know that it's going to be tough for you to to step away for it. We know it's for a good reason. Uh, But again, it's more that we are truly going to miss hearing you all. We were so honored to be a part of your show and be and have you join us. Uh, and you made our show better because of it. And we so very much appreciate that. Uh, so much. Uh, and look, here's the deal. I mean, y- you guys leaving is going to leave a giant void in the Disney podcast right. community. I, it's a void we can't that can't be filled. But we can always go back and listen to your older episodes and uh, just enjoy for what they were. But, you know, you guys are so special. You're so loving. You're so friendly. You're so fun. You're so supportive. Yes. I mean, we can't tell you. I mean, really, we, we can't say more good things about your show because and you as people because you are all so special to us. And we know that, you know, even though, you know, Disney Discussions podcast is Going away for now. Hopefully, it's just a bit of a hiatus. <laughs> I'm going to keep my fingers crossed on that. There is always an open door, a spot at the table for you to show up on the Hyperion Adventures podcast right. because you three, all of you are fantastic. Tony, the Disney dad, you have been so supportive and wonderful to our show. Uh, Sparrow, y- y- your insight into the parks and just fun and, you know, the Fox News guy. Right. And, you know, and somehow, I don't know how you're never around and you never see each other, <laughs> but you guys are awesome. And, you know, Stitch, you and Michelle. I know. I mean, you two are We're in sync so all the in time. Sync, yes. <laughs> so we always have a welcome spot for you anytime you want to join our show, anytime you want to comment on a show, anything. Um, but in the meantime, we're just excited for what to have that lies for you ahead. Uh, your new career as a cast Disney cast yeah, member, Woo-hoo! Tony, the Disney dad. I mean, now you're not only Tony, the Disney dad, you're Tony, the Disney cast member, right. which is extremely exciting. And I know you have so many other things that are coming up in your life and we just couldn't be more 
thrilled for you. And we're going to continue to follow you. We can't wait to hear about new chapters in your life. And again, uh, your show, Top Notch. And as Tom mentioned, it it will leave a void. Uh, but we know you're moving on to something really exciting. And we're so thrilled for you and wish you all the best. Yeah, um, we love you guys. Thank you yes. so much for always being around for us. And we plan to always be around for you in the future. And again, this will not be the last time we hear the Hyperion Adventures podcast and the Disney Discussions podcast ties together because um, the door is always open. Anytime you want to come on, yes. we will have you on our show again. Guys, congratulations on everything you've done in the past and cheers to everything you have Yay, coming up in the yes. future. Well, thank you, Tom and Michelle. We yeah. really appreciate it. We loved yeah. being on your show. Check out that episode. Please. Uh, I don't remember what number it is, but nope. check out all their episodes. They're yeah. fantastic. Be sure to, really to listen fun. to the Hyperion Adventures podcast. But thank you for those those kind, kind words. Yeah. All right. What Do you have a favorite episode? Um, Definitely not the episode where I took over. Yeah. We talked about that already. Yeah, we did. Uh, Probably so, interviewing so- Royden. Do we? Did I already ask this question? I'm pretty sure you did. Do you have any favorite bits or? Probably interviewing Royden. Any fa- mm, All right. <laughs> I think he's stuck in a loop. Any favorite memories from doing the podcast? Probably interviewing yeah, Royden. Yeah, I know, masking Stitch now. Forget you. Um, I really like doing the Stitch takes over. I like being on the Jedi Temple Archives podcast. That was fun. Yes. That was. I like being on the Disney DNA podcast. Yes. I, w- I would listen to that almost every day. Yeah, that was a good one. We had even the Disney Mamas on that yeah. one. Yeah. That was a lifetime like- opportunity. But yeah, Rob from uh, Jedi Temple's Archives, another great, yeah. not Disney-centric, but um, Star Wars-centric. And he, uh, Rob is actually starting a Disney podcast. Oh. Um, and he was kind no enough way. to record. Yeah, he was kind enough to record something. Let's play it. Hey there, Tony Sparrow and Stitch. This is Rob LeBerry from the Jedi Temple Archives podcast. Just want to take a brief minute to drop a line on your final episode. It's kind of hard to believe that that is in fact the case, uh, but certainly understandable. I know, Tony, you've got some incredible opportunities here ahead of you working with Disney Plus, uh, certainly not to be passed up for anyone who loves Disney. And I know that it's going to be the right move for you guys for the time being. I'm still very hopeful that at some point you guys pick the torch back up and start doing podcast episodes again. Uh, It's going to be kind of uh, strange to have a podcast community out there that doesn't involve you guys actively putting out episodes. But uh, in the year plus that I've been listening to you guys, uh, certainly enjoyed your episodes. I think that what you do with uh, the boys with Sparrow and Stitch on those episodes really encompasses what uh, Disney and and theme park type podcasting should be about. It's about a family experience and that's how we experience the parks. And uh, I think it's great that you have had the the boys on and uh, occasionally the Disney mom as well. So again, it's been over a year. I consider you guys great friends. Uh, Really enjoyed having you on the Jedi Temple Archives podcast and look forward to doing that again here in the near future. Uh, We also are going to be, my wife and I, are going to be putting out another podcast uh, that is Disney related called the Hoopty Duo Disney Review Show. And that is going to be dropping here in the next week or two. So uh, look for those episodes. Certainly, if you ever want to talk Star Wars or if you ever want to talk Disney in general, uh, we will find opportunities to get you on those shows and uh, get you a little bit of a fix. But uh, again, in the long run, I hope that you guys find an opportunity to get back on and, and record some additional episodes episodes and uh, look forward to hearing kind of how Sparrow and Stitch grow and uh, and the experiences they have hopefully in the Disney theme parks here in the future. So anyway, thank you guys again for your friendship, for your support, uh, for listening to our podcast and uh, know that you always have a place to talk any of those topics with us anytime you like. So uh, you guys all take care, be well, and may the force be with you. That was very nice, Rob. We really appreciate it. Thank you. And I'll tell you how they're growing. They're growing tall. Very, very tall. That's how they're growing. I'm almost taller than you. But be sure, almost, not quite yet. But be sure to check out both of Rob's podcasts, Jedi Temple Archives, fantastic Star Wars podcast. It doesn't make you feel like a jerk. Be sure to check out Rob's podcast, Disney podcast as well. Rob's been a great friend. Um, 
and we hope to be on a future episode talking about how different generations love Star Wars. I love the prequels. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but honestly, one of the things, uh, and I mentioned this uh, earlier, is the community that was on Twitter, on social media, around the podcast. You know, I made we made friends with all of these uh, podcasters. We talked to them, well, I talked to them on social media all the time, and they're they're good friends. And that was something very unexpected from us doing the podcast. Uh, and also, it's a lot of work doing a podcast. So these podcasts that you listen to, or any podcast you listen to. Please give them a review, give them a rating. Um, if they have a Patreon, support them because there is money involved with doing a podcast. There is a lot of work, a lot of editing that needs to be done. So support them any way you can. And it always it um, always encouraged us to see reviews come in or even five stars or somebody sending us an email letting us know that they listen and really enjoyed the episode. Like, for example, if you keep a, f- a podcast, a one-star review... Like, even if they're not very good, they're still working very hard. So I would advise you to encourage them. Yeah, don't do a one-star review. I know. Hey, but, if you give a one-star review, it means you have criticism. And we want to hear criticism. Well, that's true, too. Now. I mean, if there's something, you're listening to a podcast or even ours, not anymore. Um, uh, we want to hear what, uh, what we could do better. And I'm sure other podcasters want to, too. I don't think, uh, shoot them an email. I don't think the reviews are the best place to put yeah. that. But um, definitely... This sometimes can be a hard uh, medium to do because you feel like you're talking to yourself. You don't always hear from the audience yeah. um, that's listening. But it, it's it's been wonderful. We've had a lot of great fans reach out to us. Um, we've even had fans send us a couple things when we've wanted things in the park that were exclusive to the park. And that's been really cool. So we we love doing the podcast. Let's hear from Matt from Love of the Mouse podcast who did our logo, our wonderful logo. Yes. If you need a logo or any graphic design work, reach out to Matt, but also yes. listen to his podcast. Let's hear from him. Hi, Tony, Stitch, and Sparrow. This is Matt Merlino from the Love of the Mouse podcast. I am so sad to hear that you guys are wrapping up your show. Tony, I know you have bigger and better things ahead of you in the realm of Disney, which is amazing, but I really am going to miss all of the awesome content that you guys produce. Um, For a family show, this is just such a spectacular, um, spectacular show that you guys have put together. Um, Stitch and Sparrow, your dad is the coolest. Um, I hope you guys know that. I really do. Um, I hope whenever I have kids someday that my kids will be cool enough to want to do a podcast about Disney with me. Um, So you guys, I hope you don't take that for granted. Um, What you guys have done at such a young age is phenomenal and just uh keep being creative keep your passions um you know keep uh keep doing what you're doing stay creative and it will take you to good places and your dad um he's he set you on the right path so um you guys have an awesome dynamic um it's always fun to listen i'm going to be sad that there won't be new content but if you ever want to talk Disney, um, I know we've got to collaborate a lot. We um, we worked on your logo. I was so appreciative that you let me redesign your logo. Um, so that was great working with you guys on that. Um, but if you ever want to talk Disney, I'm, I'm all ears, no pun intended. Um, so if you ever want to come on my show, I will be more than happy to have you all or just one of you, whatever you want to do. I'm always willing to talk Disney with you guys and collaborate in the future. So thank you so much for everything that you have done for the Disney community, the Disney podcast community. Um, You guys are definitely going to be missed. Your show is going to be missed. Um, But don't let that discount all of the great things that you have done previously and will do in the future. So signing off, I guess, for the last time on Disney Discussions. Wow, that's sad. It's Matt Merlino from Love of the Mouse Podcast. Um, you know, thanks thanks again for everything that you guys do. Well, that was sad. You're yep. bringing me down, man. <laughs> but thank you, so Matt. Uh, Matt yeah, also asked you. us if we had to pick one singular moment from any recording or episode. What is your favorite scene from the podcast library? Don't say interviewing Raiden Lip. Oh, Mimicking when- Dad. What's that? Mimicking Dad. Mimicking me. When, he, when Sparrow accidentally said Donald the Chicken. Donald the Chicken. I knew this would one. come back to haunt Chicken me, guy right? was a good one. Chicken you guys guy. cracking up a chicken guy. With his donkey sauce. <laughs> <laughs> donkey! <laughs> I love all the bloopers. I actually like yes. the bloopers and yeah. like put them at we the have, end because they're, they're pretty, funny. Bloopers. pretty funny. funny. I, I enjoyed when... 
<laughs> we were talking and then he flushed the oh, toilet. Oh, that's right. And we had a lot of kids. I yeah. love, in the beginning, we had some of your friends on, which was a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. Very yeah. chaotic and, and yeah. hard to edit, but yeah. uh, it was a lot it of fun. One of our funny, friends like, asked if Doctor Who was Disney. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Is wreck Ralph Disney? Yeah. I loved uh, having mom, mom on. Yeah. The occasional, she was one, on two Once episodes. in a lifetime opportunity. Yeah. Oh. Two or three. Twice or three. <laughs> three times in a lifetime. But that was always fun. Even though she hated it. If um, you listen to Disney DNA, four times in a lifetime. That's true. That's true. Yes. Um, yes. Very cool. Also, yes. we had a nice little message from the Station 71 podcast. We we were on there. Yes. Uh, yeah. One of their episodes doing the game yes. show, which was a lot of fun to do. Was- I won MVP, obviously. Yeah. Well, why is that obvious? Because I got, I got like most of the questions. All right. So let's hear from them real quick. Hey, this is the Station 71 podcast. Beth. Mario. And Brian. We just wanted to say how much we've enjoyed your show and are sad to see it in, but excited for you to go on to new adventures. Good luck. See you real soon. Bye. Thanks. We appreciate that yeah, very thank much. You. It's getting emotional. It is getting emotional in here. Not really. Bring me down, <laughs> people. You're bringing me down. All right. Let's hear from Part of Our World yes. pod- podcast. We were on their um, Oscar Disney Oscar yeah. episode, which was a lot of fun, and they yeah. got to be on our uh, music attraction episode. They did a nice little thing yes. with the 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 tiki room, the tiki 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 tiki, 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 tiki room. room in the tiki tiki. Um, so let's let's hear from them. Disney discussions podcast. What can I say? You guys have one of the most wholesome, fun Disney podcasts out there. I'm probably going to say fun about a hundred times, by the way, because I think that that's just the most accurate adjective to describe you and the show that you've created. Um, but your show will definitely be missed. Um, as a father, you know, I listen to your show and I, I just think constantly how awesome it would be to be able to do something similar with my son when he's older. Uh, he's five now, but I just love the relationship you, you guys have with each other. Tony, I'm sure you realize how lucky you are to have this time with your boys. And Stitch, Sparrow, I hope that you got a lot out of it too. I think it's sad that you guys are ending your show, but it's definitely something that you're going to be able to remember and hold on to for the rest of your lives. And I'm sure you're going to look back on this run that your podcast had uh, fondly. Um, you created great memories. Um, but I also hope that someday you're going to be able to do some sort of reunion shows, you know, especially when uh, Sparrow and Stitch, you guys are older. I don't know, a, a decade down the road, how cool would it be to kind of reunite? I mean, obviously you guys aren't going anywhere. You live together, but <laughs> to reunite as a podcast and do trip reports and reviews and a lot of the stuff that you guys have done. That's been so fun. Um, speaking of stitch and sparrow, keep making awesome content. Um, it doesn't have to be a podcast, but you guys are creative. You're fun. And I hope that you find ways to celebrate the things that you love with the rest of the world. So keep Keep doing something. Find find some ways to be creative. Um, even if you don't share it with the rest of us, do creative fun stuff because you guys are super cool. I also realized in putting together this little send-off that even though we've been on each other's shows in really fun ways, you guys came on our Disney Oscars episode and we we came on your um, Disney Songs episode and, and both of those were really, really neat. Uh, we actually never got to do an entire show together. So maybe we can convince you, Tony, to come out of retirement for an episode sometime down the road. Who knows? I'm, I'm sure we might be able to twist your arm just a little bit. Anyway, on behalf of both Rachel and myself, we wish you the best of luck in your new career, Tony. Um, and we hope the best for the entire Disney discussion family. I'm sure that we're still going to interact on Twitter and continue to be friends. But of course, the, the podcast aspect of our relationship is coming to an end or at least on hiatus while you start this new venture which is super exciting by the way so congrats and take care that was really nice yes yes, yes it i was. got you man i can get him out of retirement for you <laughs> get me out of retirement uh-huh it sounds like a mood i'm not retired i've been walking, working with fox since the beginning you'll you'll never come on again if we do a reunion episode, you're never coming on, Fox guy. But I'm part of the Disney Discussions family. Are you? Yes. Are you? He does house. need You're like that on. crazy uncle that nobody really wants oh, around. He around need just everybody shows up for Thanksgiving. Fun uncle. I didn't say fun uncle. <laughs> <laughs> you're not a funkle. <laughs> <laughs> so he's a, a knuckle. He's a knuckle. All right, I want Sparrow back. Okay, here. Okay. 
So I, you know, I appreciate that. Um, yeah, because that was part of what I wanted to do is make a family podcast that had children involved, but also was for families to listen to. And some people I knew made fun of me, so saying, "Well, of course, you're talking about Disney; it's going to be a family friendly podcast." But there's a lot of Disney podcasts that aren't family friendly that I can't listen to with my boys. So that was one of my goals. And there were a few out there, Disney DNA, of course, doing with their their daughters, and there's a couple others that are no longer around. But like, I thought it was really important to create that content that um, I would want to share with my family. So I hope that that was uh, a blessing to other people that they were able to share our, our podcast with their, their children and just enjoy talking about the discussions we had. Um, And that it's obviously I mentioned this in the very beginning, but my greatest thing about doing this podcast is the time spent with you guys. And though I may get answer. No, it's, (laughs) it's the true answer. And although there may have been times I've, uh, behind the mic that I was getting angry oh, and yes. you guys were Almost like making ex- every extremely loud noises in my headphones and giving me a headache. and Like this. <laughs> no. <laughs> but I enjoyed every second of it. And I will keep these episodes and I'm sure I will listen to them um, in my old age and, and cry that uh, those those times have gone. But it's cool that, that you guys have something on the internet that will last forever. Um, and that we could always listen to and, and, and share with others. And I do hope, um, as Keenan said, to you guys continue to create cool things in the future, no matter what that is on, on your own. Whether I'm it's, a YouTuber! Uh, YouTube is, is something, yeah. <laughs> but, um, you know, we got to do, when we did Bring Your Child to Work Day a couple of years ago, you, you did a whole presentation on how to make a podcast, which yeah. I thought was pretty cool for when other kids. Sparrow's voice was all high and squeaky. It was, it was a little high and squeaky. We, we can stop about that now. All right, and let's go back to high and squeaky. <laughs> so, uh, the Monday morning monorail, another great. <laughs> oh boy, we lost it. It's, we're recording kind of late, so. Uh... All right, we got the giggles now. So, I want to. The Monday morning monorail podcast mentioned us on one of their episodes, our last episodes. I want to play um, what they said about us. They've been great friends to us, and we love their podcast. And there's another. Yeah. Um, podcast uh, family that's doing their, their children a little bit older than you guys but uh it's great to see a family doing a podcast like that so Are you still laughing at his mickey mouse voice <laughs> the face he makes yeah i'm I'm glad this isn't going on youtube to be honest yeah. all right if it was going on youtube i wouldn't make these faces <laughs> <laughs> so let, let's hear from the monday morning yeah. monorail podcast that's a tongue twister <laughs> i want to say a fond Maybe not farewell, but hopefully see you later to our friend Tony, Disney Discussions podcast. Tony is Disney dad, and he did a podcast with his boys, Stitch and Sparrow, and they're hanging up the the headphones and turning off the microphones for a little while, and I, I wish them well. I know that, you know, people have things, competing priorities, different things going on, and I hope, you know, nothing but the best for them, And and as I said to Tony on Twitter... If they ever decide they want to just do a random episode here or there, I know that there are going to be people who would be excited to hear them because they're awesome. So, Tony, good luck. Nothing but good wishes for you and the family and hope you are, you know, feeling good and doing well. Yeah. Yeah. Salute, y'all. Yeah. So um, they're they're awesome. They've always been very uh, kind and supportive to us. And Well, thank you for that. I yeah. thought he was going to say good riddance for a second. Yeah. But- <laughs> No, no, it, it's thank you very much. It's very kind yes. uh, that you guys said that. Yeah, it, it's it, it is tough to kind of hang up the headphones, as Justin said, uh, but it's and for a good reason. Mic. And turn off the mic, it's for a good reason. There are other reasons, uh, too, besides my job. There are some life, life family events that happened uh, that make time a little more precious and we don't have the time to create the yeah. content that we wanted to but the main reason is the job but we're all excited for that and i'm starting that soon let's hear from the detour to neverland podcast on what they had to say about our podcast hey tony sparrow and stitch this is brendan and Catherine from detour to neverland you guys have been part of our weekly routine for about a year now so we are deeply saddened to know that we will not be able to hear your disney discussions We've loved hearing your different perspectives and your opinions. And just like you, we also have favorite Star Wars vehicles. So my favorite is Kylo Ren's Whisper. And mine is Anakin's Pod Racer. So we have loved 
having you be part of our weekly routine, but we know that you guys are destined for really, really great things. And all of the wonderful podcast episodes that you put out have brought so much joy and made such a positive impact on Disney fans just like us. So here's to your new adventure, and we know we'll keep in contact with you guys moving forward. Yep. So can't wait to see you next time you visit Galaxy's Edge. Thanks, guys. That's very, Thank very you. nice. Um, Detour. To Neverland. But, um, yeah, like I said, if our to- October trip happens, we'll be doing um, we'll be doing an episode about that. We'll put that out. Trip so stay review. subscribed. So we uh, are not completely... Not completely gone. And like we said, we'll still be on. They will be a little dusty when we come <laughs> back, though. They'll... It'll be like the Tower of Terror um, yeah. um, entrance Stop. and all the dust. Stop! Um, all right. So we do want to thank, again, thanks everyone, especially our listeners, um, whoever you are. Some of you we know from interacting with you on social media. Some of you uh, we don't. We don't know if you listen. But um, we, we if you're listening to this, we really – Really appreciate it. There's the people on social media that we know, the people we don't know, and then the people that we like know know in real life. Yes, that's that's true. It's no. the three categories yes. of people. So it's like but we know, we don't know, and we know no now. no <laughs> no 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 no. no, no, no. Um, but yeah, we do appreciate you listening and, and being fans of fans of us. Um, yes. And again, we never thought we would get um, the numbers we have. Yeah. Um, it took a while to get there, but we just we really enjoyed making a podcast, and we kept on doing it. It's been a lot of fun to learn how to do this yeah. and and to come up with topics. But it's been um, amazing to think that there's people. Every state has listened to us. Yeah. Every continent has listened to us, except, except Antarctica. I guess. But, but what know. penguins don't want? Yeah, listen to I, us. I guess. I thought the polar bears might be interested, but I guess not. <laughs> They're too busy watching. Is YouTube. that a polar bear? <laughs> They're not listening. How would he know? They're too busy. They're too busy watching some There's very good Fortnite right content creators. No, on yeah, that must be it. They need those tips. They're really into Fortnite. Um, yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, anything else you guys want to say before I, we Artemis sign off Fowl. for the final? Uh, we've already said this a lot, but I'm just saying my favorite part of the podcast is, is probably bloopers. Just so fun. I remember that one time you tried to say Millennium Falcon. Yeah. You couldn't <laughs> say it. I do want to mention we we've had some great interviews. Yes. Um, Roy and Lep has, has the been best mentioned. interview, but uh, we had Len Test on, which was great. Yeah, that was uh, Trisha Dobb, who we interviewed with her son Oliver, yes, who wrote um, the Story Comes Alive books. Yeah, those are great. Uh, but she's always she's become a friend of ours, and we've talked to her on social media. Um, we've talked to Lee Cockrell and Dan Cockrell, who are really great interviews. I recommend yeah. going back and listen to yeah. those. Um, anything else? Any other interviews that that we've done? Not really. Yeah. I want to say something, but go ahead. Say it. Um, Expedition Roasters. Oh yeah, that's right. Eric that from fun. Expedition Roasters. Yes. He's, coffee is great. I definitely recommend them. Great flavored coffee, Disney themed, and some Harry Potter and non Disney themed Star letting, Wars. You're not letting me try it. No, not you're a little too young for coffee. Although you're growing so fast, I may want you to try some to stunt your growth. Yes. Um. Um. Another. A thing I liked about our podcast was having a sponsor. I get money. Yep, that was cool for a little while. Money, 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 money. Yeah, that was cool to have a couple sponsors on. Yeah. Um, never thought that would happen, to be honest. Anything else? No. All right. So I do want to mention, if you're missing our podcast and you need others to listen to, be sure to check out um, all those that, that recorded something for us. A Detour to Neverland is a great podcast. Um Matt from Love of the Mouse podcast, check him out. Uh, Tom and Shell from the Hyperion Adventures podcast is a fantastic podcast. I highly recommend that along with um, the Jedi Temple Archives podcast and his new one. Uh, check out Station 71 and Part of Our World podcast and the Monday Morning Monorail podcast. And then those that, you know, they wished us well in, in other areas but weren't able to record or, or write anything for us, be sure absolutely check out Connecting with Walt. Yes. With Michael and Greg. Uh, we, yes. They're one of our absolute favorite podcasts. Mm-hmm. A great history lesson for everybody on on the beginnings of Disney and, and rides and the parks. Uh, Michael is a fantastic resource. And we kind of reached out to them to see if they wanted to help us out, never thinking they actually would. And they've been super kind yeah. to contribute content for us. So be sure to check out Connecting with Walt from the Disney Unplugged Network. Uh, again, Disney DNA is a great family podcast yes. to listen to. 
Um, unlocking the magic. Unlocking the magic. Yep, absolutely. Capture the magic. Yes. Yeah. Um, another great one. Uh, Monday morning monorail, like we mentioned, the Earful podcast. We were actually on. Um, they did something for us for the Disney songs episode, yeah. and we were yes. on one of their episodes. So they're really fun, and of course, one of my favorites, the Mouse Knows Best. I've been on their podcast a couple times. I was supposed to be yeah. on a third, but unfortunately, it didn't work out. But they're a great uh, group podcast and they they do a lot of great discussions so there's some great podcasts um and again these people are doing this out of the kindness of their heart because they want to create content they're not making a lot of money if any money at all from it so be sure to support them give them reviews tell other people about uh the podcast yeah did you want to say something bud yeah after we say aloha you might want to stay because i'm gonna do something oh interesting i don't even know what that is uh so I want to give a shout out to my friend's uh, Fortnite YouTube channel. He's trying to grow and get some su- subscribers, and I'm in some of his videos. So go subscri- subscribe to Stay in the Course Gaming. Stay, Stay in, in the, the, course. the Course. I'll put a link in. Yes. in the show notes. Subscribe, 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 everybody. Everybody who's listening oh. to this, subscribe. All right, all yes. right. That's enough. He didn't pay us enough money to doesn't, give him that big of a plug. No. It doesn't really he, matter if you don't even watch his videos. <laughs> it doesn't oh, really? Matter. He paid me doesn't what? even matter if you don't watch the videos. Just subscribe. <laughs> All right. So, again, don't unfollow us on Twitter. I'll still yeah. be uh, tweeting a little bit from there. Um, be sure to continue to subscribe to our podcast. You never know when we'll decide to do an episode. But it's been an amazing pleasure, boys, to do this with you. Yeah. Um, I've had an absolute blast. And we will continue to talk Disney. Just not record it. Um, but um, I hope that we play these episodes for your kids one day and maybe you'll create something cool with your kids and your grandkids. Um, my grandkids, but it's been until I get a job for Disney, (laughs) (laughs) but it's been an absolute pleasure and I will miss, even though we've been a little infrequent with episodes, but I will miss doing them. Um, it's been a whole lot of fun just to kind of lock ourselves in my office and, and record for an hour. (laughs) Yeah. You can't get out. Um, and record and just kind of talk and have fun. And it's been great to see you guys kind of grow and mature. Um, as you do this, get more comfortable with Bear's it. voice get deeper. All right. I'm trying to be serious here, man. Um, <laughs> you can't be serious on this But podcast. again, it's been an absolute pleasure. We thank you. <laughs> it's get do it. All right. We thank you all for listening, supporting us. Oh, we did watch Artemis at Foul. Yes. I've seen a lot of bad reviews. I didn't think it was bad. I didn't Top think, 15 movie. Uh, well, I don't know about that. I didn't think it was great, but I think it was a good movie. Uh, Josh Gad, I thought, yes, he did, was awesome. He did and no great. spoilers. No spoilers. Don't worry. Because uh, Stitch good. still hasn't seen it. I, I really liked it. But I, I would recommend it. It's a good hour yeah. and a half of quality still, entertainment. I still feel betrayed how you watched it without me. Oh, well, I'm going to watch it with you. Don't worry. Wait. What? One last thing. Uh, what Fox guy? Everybody gets to find out my identity. Oh, what is it? Dun, dun. Ready? I'm ready. I am. Yeah. The doctor! <gasps> like Doctor Who? Yes. Wow. What what are regeneration you sure you are you? What number? See, that would be spoiler. Oh, okay. You sure you're so you're coming Carl? in the future. I am. Are you sure Interesting. you're not Carl? Carl? Where? I have a friend named Carl that I never see, and then there are rumors he lives in my attic. What? Okay, this got I weird. Am. I'm not the doctor. Oh, you tricked me. You're Carl? You're, are you a doctor? <laughs> Who's Carl? <laughs> All right. Let's get in silly now. Uh, Carl. My name is... My name is... What is that? What's, what's it called? Carl? Um, <laughs> Carl with a Z. Carl with a Z? A silent Z? Carl Zargle. <laughs> Zar- oh, oh, you're an alien. Maybe you are the doctor. <laughs> no, no. Maybe it's Argo. All right. No, it's this, Carl's. This got weird. Yes. All right. Goodbye, everybody. What? I just saluted you. Goodbye. Somewhere. All right. Thanks, everyone, for listening. Yes. yes. We really appreciate it. See you real soon. Hello. Aloha. Na, 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 na. <laughs> na, 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 na. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Goodbye. Now it's time to say goodbye to all our company. Am I See you real soon. K-E-Y. Why?
because we like you. And